a super busy day at Heathrow. I think the crowds are back. Everybody is, is traveling. It's great to see such a quick rebound. Very, very busy. And now I'm off to Ireland. My first time visiting Ireland. Looking forward and the flying Aer Lingus. This is the Aer Lingus fly I'm going on. This lounge has a great view, but all this stuff in front really hinders it. I wish they remove all this stuff and we have a great runway view. Well, just coming out of the lounge. Um, very little food in the lounge. There's only some biscuits, a soup. And traveling with a friend today to Ireland, Charles. Well, I swear to God, this was not a setup. Just got an upgrade like this. And what a welcome gift for me to go to Ireland. Very lucky. While we're waiting to leave, I moved down the seats to another empty seat down here. And this business class cabin is actually sold as a economy plus, like a premium economy. I know at least there's one or two flights with this configuration that runs from London to Dublin every day. Came straight out from the airport, went to the spotting mound here. Really reminds me of Imperial Hill at LAX. Just looking for some China Southern 777 freighters. <laughs> but we do have all Aer Lingus and Ryanair here. Good morning! Surprise, surprise! What a beautiful day in Ireland. Last night I stayed at this beautiful B&B. Now I'm gonna go in to enjoy an Irish breakfast. Then we're gonna get on the road for some sightseeing. What's the difference between Irish breakfast and English breakfast? We're in Ireland. Right, very nice answer. <laughs> Driving on the uh, village road or the countryside of Ireland. It's actually a beautiful sight, beautiful day. We drove to the middle of nowhere in Ireland, but it's a stunning castle behind. Here's a question is like, we must be very lucky today. Is the weather always like this? Always like in Ireland, yeah. We, I think about 300 days a year of sunshine, at least. 300 days a year of oh, sunshine? It's a tropical paradise. I believe you, yeah. And today I met my first YouTube manager, Connor. And Connor was instrumental in 2016, persuaded me to join YouTube to start doing full-time YouTube. And that's how my channel grew. And this is the man behind. Paid me the fulcher, Kruji Galiev. It means uh, a million welcomes to, to, to Galway. What's your favorite airplane, Connor? 
I would say 757, I've flown Shannon to New York on it and it's an incredible aircraft. Uh, and this is my gift for you. No way. It's my uh, latest book, Air 747. Well, I hope you get to fly a 747. It's not too late. One There's day. still a yeah. few. Lufthansa <laughs> still flies it. Yeah. yeah, there you go. I did Malaysian Airlines a few years ago. Great. <laughs> So we're here in uh, Shannon Airport, which I've always thought is quite an interesting airport. It's sort of a frontier town, especially back in the old days, it was very underdeveloped compared to the east coast of Ireland. Uh, in fact, when Aer Lingus started flying here uh, with jets to North America in 1960, uh, most of West uh, Ireland wasn't even electrified. So you'd fly in a jet and then you'd go to a house and live by candlelight. Um, what's interesting is that to help with the development of the West Coast, every flight that came from the, uh, the United States to Ireland had to stop here by law. Um, you couldn't just fly to Dublin, you had to go US, Shannon, Dublin, and same in return, Dublin, Shannon, USA. Here we are, after a beautiful country drive, I just arrived at Cleveland Moir. That's the Ireland I want to see. And I guess America's far, far that way. And that's my next stop. There are many advantages using VPN. Personally, I use Surfshark VPN to bypass internet censorship, to find cheaper travel, and to secure my data. Internet censorship is a huge pain when you're traveling to another country where social media like Facebook, YouTube, and Google Mail is blocked. I use Surfshark VPN to hop to another country to bypass the internet restrictions. And even better, I use just one Surfshark VPN subscription to access multiple Netflix library. With the help of Surfshark VPN, I can also connect to another country to find cheaper air ticket, cheaper hotel, and cheaper rental car. Just like many frequent travelers, we often travel and use public Wi-Fi at a hotel or the airport. They're not secure. When I want to send sensitive information, I use Surfshark VPN to encrypt and secure my data. Now, here's the best deal for my viewer. Get Surfshark VPN at surfshark.com slash Sam. Enter promo code Sam. You will get more than 80% off and three additional months subscription for free. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. I'm back at Dublin Airport today, flying out of beautiful country Ireland. Had a fantastic stay, really lovely people and really wonderful sights. Now I'm gonna fly on Aer Lingus Transatlantic. At the airport, I just met up two Aer Lingus cabin crew. Where you guys came from? I just came from New York right now. Oh, you just flew from New York? Mm -hmm. Has it been a good flight? Yeah, it was actually quite The A330. Nice. A330, yes. You know, I love the shamrock, the green color ones. It's beautiful, yeah. actually. But you're not from Irish. I hear your accent. They're both Spanish, Spanish yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> so I'm surprised. I thought there's only Irish crew on this airline. Yeah. How long you've been working for? Actually, since 2019, and he was 2018. Oh, really? Yeah. Like it? Yeah, yeah I like yeah. it. So I can't yeah. wait today. My first long haul flight, Aer Lingus. I'm in the Aer Lingus lounge, and it's got a great view of the apron. And I got carried away plane spotting a little bit. Um, lounge is rather simple. There's two floor, and uh, there's a limit of food, and there's only a soup and some biscuits and some cake. In Dublin here, there's also a U.S. pre-clearance, so you can clear and then arrive at domestic flight in the U.S. So while waiting to board our flight to Toronto, I met a legend here, Dan is here. He actually flew on the very first Air Canada 747 uh, as a press. And then later you flew on the Ward Air 747. If anyone knows what Ward Air is. What do you think about Aer Lingus? Uh, I wish they'd use a 330 uh, on this flight rather than this uh, 320. Uh, but you came on the 321. Yeah. You came on that. Yeah, so the, this is the thing. How is it like to sit long haul in six, seven hours in the economy like that, you know? When the, when the food carts and the beverage carts get rolling, then the uh, the washrooms are unavailable because mm. everything is in the rear, mm. uh, unless you're flying business class up front. But uh, 
Um, it's generally a well-operated flight. They make lots of announcements. The crew is very friendly. Um, they do anything for you. Yeah, my, my wife lost an earring on the way over, and we waited, and they went down, and they hunted under the seats for her earring. But wow. anyway, we couldn't find it. It wasn't expensive. So. The getting to Ireland back in the day was so much fun. Uh, you would book through a club or or some kind of a sports association and you would get very cheap flights over on 707s and you but you're a legend now aren't you glad you've <laughs> flown on all the 707s like who else have, would have a chance to fly on these uh, old 70s they were like uh, uh, black smoke coming out of the engines <laughs> uh, roaring down the runway for miles before they took off you wondered if everybody uh, had bought too, too much at the duty free and the plane would never take off but uh, yeah, the 707s were, were a great plane. The uh, wings were wobbling and uh, <laughs> the noise, the noise yeah. was un incredible. It's I always like to sit in the back and the noise was just horrendous. Unbelievable noise. Yeah. Single body transatlantic, here I come again, seven hours. Let's see how that goes. Hello there, welcome. Just need to So this is the same plane I flew from London to Dublin, the 321neo long range, full flat business class. Today, whole flight's full, completely full. Let's put that to a stress test. Uh, I swapped the seats with another passenger because they want to sit together. Um, one thing I have noticed now on the short uh, single aisle flights, the boarding takes longer because the doubled aisle has two aisles, the boarding takes much faster.
Here's my final thought. I think the A321LR and XLR may become the dominant transatlantic fleet in the future, given they have the right size and the right range. I have a wonderful transatlantic flight on Aer Lingus in business class, but I can only hope all the airlines in the world can adopt a better legroom in economy class on these A321 long-range airplane Transocean. Thank you for watching today.